And welcome back, everyone, to Meta HSC, our second game of the night here for Rocket League. It will be Karingbar to take on Harrow or Hawker College. My apologies there. My name's Chris, being joined by Vinod once again. And, well, this should be an interesting game. Karingbar, for the past few years now, have always made playoffs, in my recollection, it to uh, in New South Wales. So, we'll be looking to try and keep that streak going here this year. Yeah, but up against them is going to be Hawkers College. Now, yes, this is only week three, Chris, but now is a good time to try and challenge some of the traditionally stronger opponents. And I think, as we talked about, Karing Bar is definitely going to be one of them, a team, a school, I should say, sorry, that has a reputation of doing well in the New South Wales area. And it's time to find out, Chris, if they're going to continue that hot streak that we know they can pull off, or if they're going to struggle a little bit here, because... I'm taking a look at the uh, Karing Bar members, and I confess I don't recognize these names, which means there is a possibility that it may be the same school, but it may not necessarily be the same players. Yeah, I do recognize Tatagane and Hipster a little bit here. Uh, not sure who the other player is, so we'll, fi we'll find out when we get in, obviously. I think it might be Ultras, but yeah, both teams at the moment currently 2 and oh, It's actually... Uh, Cherry Army, so yeah, that actually makes sense. So, uh, Karangba on the blue side, Hawker on the orange. It'll be interesting to see how these six players go here once again. It's going to be best of three, and that best of three is going to start now. Yeah, it is time for the first kickoff of the night between these two teams, and it does look like Karangba is able to get the first round of offense going. The question is, though, what follow up have they got? We see. Uh, Kareemate throwing the ball up in the air, but it is trapped in the corner and attempt of a clear, but it's not really going to work out. Yeah, just allows Karing Bar to oh. get an opening opportunity. Tatagane can't get on the first try, so why not on the second? He gets the opener for himself, and well, that's just a nice little bit of play for him there. He recognizes a little stuff up off the post, and then he quickly corrects, gets that goal, and well, that's the most important thing, getting the opener, especially for Karing Bar, who go 1-0. Yeah, if it doesn't work the first time, make it work the second. Tadagane is able to do well in that start. Sets it up in the middle there, but his team just is not able to capitalize on what could have been the opening. And we do see a defensive move coming from my boys in Blue Bit Hawkers now. Their first little round of the offense here in week number three. How will it work out for them? Zoltex is trying to set up the ball, but again, it's getting trapped in the corner right now, which is just making it that much harder to get the offensive to work. And... Carrying bar are more than happy to have that happen as it just gives them many Ooh. opportunities to set up here. Satagane once again has to go for the one two off the post, but still leads to yet another goal there. Hipster just gonna find a dunk down there, gets denied off the crossbar, but Satagane well placed to cover up and finish off the play. And well, Carrying bar showing why they are always a very consistently good school in New South Wales in regards to high school rocket league, because they're two row at the moment. Going to try and make this series a quick one and go to 3 0 overall in the region. Yeah, well, so far they're doing well, and Tadakane is kind of leading them in that charge with uh, the offense, as of course both balls are sitting in their pack pocket. And Ugar fighting for the ball again. And when Tadakane gets on offense, it could be a little bit of a worry because once again, look at where he is. Look, he almost has the ball, but he does lose control, but his team still got his back. Yes, in indeed. Still doing a lot of work here, and it could lead to yet another goal here for Karing Bar as Tatagane centers the ball, gets it to, well, himself, and uh, that's yet another goal for him as this man's just on fire. He, he just keeps finding it. Yeah, that's a little bit of a, a oh, yeah, there, I feel it. like. <laughs> I don't feel like Tatagane fully deserves the credit for that one, but he was in the right position, Chris, and of course he did do the work to set it up for his teammates there, so... Going well for the man there is once again a kickoff that seems to go in favor of Karing Bar High School. Team with a lot of legacy, it's working out quite nicely as a one, two, three. Will a fourth touch be enough there? No, Tadakane, he hits it the other way as a set up a cherry, but it's a little bit too high there. Is there any follow up in the middle? No, there is not. Yeah, Tadakane back to defense now to clean up the ball. Might be another goal here coming up for him though. Can he finish it off? He has to find the backboard, but he can't find the final touch here. Jeremy just keeping the ball in the midfield for the moment. A bit of pressure slowly starting to come through for Hawker here, but Ipswell 
Can he carry it through? Once again, getting it close, but not close enough there for carrying bar as Ultras just pushes out the ball. But yeah, it's just looking like we might be at the carrying bar show here at the moment here. They're really dominating possession, really dominating the uh, control of the game, especially Tatagane, who's looking for a fall. Can he find it? No. Uh, Zoltex will be the man who blocks off that attempt this time around, but for the moment, Karimba just absolutely flying at the moment, and well, they do get a few clears here and there, Hawker, but apart from that, they still have a fair bit more to do. Up. Oh. So far so now we have two minutes remaining, three gold in the favour of Caring Bar High School. But there have been signs of life coming from their opponents in Hawkers College, right? They've had that offense before. They were trying to scramble a defense before. Tadagane with the ball control. Oh, Bates out one, Bates out two, and takes all three in a single drive. And that is a pretty darn good oh, thing if you what? ask me. Just look at that. Oh. He just plays fruity for a full and ultras. He can't get the save. Oh, I think he can. Maybe he can get MVP off one game because, I'll tell you what, he's definitely uh, making a stance here, Tatagane. Absolutely dominant stuff for him as he's got an all four goal so far. Can he make it five? Well, he has 100 seconds to do so. Let's see if he can. Yeah, a phenomenal setup for this guy right now. It is insane what he's able to pull off in this car. What more can he do? His team recovering the ball. Um, while they were on defense, we're seeing a lot of members of Hawkers College on the front lines here. So it means they need to make this offense work, but they're not getting past the defense right now. Hips is being annoying more than anything. Um, disrupting the guy with the ball. There is a setup in the middle, but Trimi gets the clear, and this could be some signs of life. As on the front side, at least Hawkers are still getting the offense going. This can't get the shot. Yeah, they can't get an opportunity, and that's just frustrating them here, Hawker, as. They will eventually lose the ball to Hipster Rail and he'll bring it up for himself. Senses the ball, whereas Tatagane won't be anywhere near it. Shermside just couldn't make the ball here, but here we go. Tatagane trying to set it up for Hipster Whale, but Hipster just couldn't finish off the play here. Will allow Fruity to just bring the ball forward here. The Cherimine, oh, he's oh. unable to get the clear, and well, that clean sheet is now broken. Fruity with the first response, although her response might only be a consolation. Yeah, a really good setup then. Fruity's like, thank you very much. I will happily accept such a donation. But the problem is, Chris, 42 seconds, three goals is what Hawkers College have got to contest with now. Are they going to be able to pull it off? It's going to be a hard one because look what Tedagani is. He's trying to set up from above, not able to keep control of the ball. But that is more than anything just buying time for the last little bit. Yeah, just trying to burn the clock here as... Time slowly but surely ticks away here in game number one. Karingba, through Tatagane, have really dominated this first game. The defenses did break down a little bit towards the end, but all the work they've done will not be in vain. As Tatagane can't finish off the fifth. Hips are well, sends it a little wide, but the result will not be affected here. Tatagane has gotten four goals to absolutely dominate game one and get Karingba a 4 1 victory here. Yeah, a good start. All right, we'll call it 4-2. Make it a 4-2, two. Two. <laughs> uh, just to try and make things a little bit fairer. 4-2 in carrying by Stable. But for Hawkers College, man, they fought like hell for a lot of this one. But there is just, it's so hard against a team like Carrying Bar with a, <laughs> with a madman like Tadagane, who's just like, look, I appreciate you trying to play defense, but no, you're not allowed to play defense on me. That's just not how, it's not how this works today, okay? Um, so, mm -hmm. like, in the future games, like, how are they going to manage Tedagane? Because he's gotten the four kills, but Hipster and Cream Chi, they're also doing pretty decently. I'm um, sure they haven't got the star power of 700 points, but they're not yeah. just sort of letting Tedagane do it himself. Yeah, indeed. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in game number two, because I am expecting Hawker to really start to target Tedagane a bit more. But, yeah, Hipster was looking pretty good. Obviously got two assists there and a fair few shots as well. Jeremy was fairly quiet, but he was doing all right in the midfield as a third man. So maybe he might just be looking to maybe open himself up to a few more assists and maybe a few more blocks in the midfield. So interesting to see what happens in this uh, game as everyone rejoins their sides. Just waiting for the last player to join here. And I believe that is, uh, ah, looks like a, uh, 
There's been a game crash here, and I think that is for, uh... That looks like that is, um, cream cream Creamy, I think it's pronounced. Yeah, cream cheese, cherry, it's hard to tell, but... I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess I'm just like to look at a name like that. I'm sorry, but I ain't got a chance. <laughs> um, but it will mean there's a little bit of a delay before we hit our second game of our best of three here, Chris. But yep. um, I do just want to quickly talk about our team in Orange, of course, Hawkins College. Now, yes... The game of number one didn't go the way that they really wanted it to, but it's not fair to say that they didn't show signs of life. They fought off really, really well, in my opinion, considering that they were on the back foot for a lot of it, as game number two is kicking off right now. There is no time for delay, as Hipster Whale doesn't set up on top side, but there was no one for the follow through. Yeah, Tatagame have to has to rotate back, but look at that touch from Tatagame. Is that on target? No, it's oh. the then. <laughs> That's a familiar script there. Can't get on the first, but sends it in on the second. Tap to Garnet, st starts where he started game one. Yeah, he's like, yes, it may not have gone in on the first shot, but hey, you know Tap Garnet decides, you know what, it may not have gone in on the first shot, but it's going in anyway, Chris. 1-0, 4 minutes 46. Hell, not even 15 seconds into the game here. As once again, we're seeing the side of Gununga win the kickoff, and that is always letting them play offense first. It's forcing Hawkers College on a defensive start, and you can't really do very well, you know, if he's playing defense for most of the game. Unfortunately, I don't agree with the adage that the best form of offense is a solid defense. Yeah, it just makes it a bit hard, doesn't it, to uh, move up. I mean, we did see him get two goals towards the end of game one, and they might look for one here. Fruity, good opportunity, but just couldn't finish it off. But yeah, at the moment, it does seem like uh, the defense is the best offense for carrying about the very least, as... They just have to rotate back here, pick up the ball, tap the army, just pops it up on high, and, well, he's looked to try and clear it out, but just stuck in the pocket for the moment here, Fruity. Unable to get a clean line here, but tap to Gane. He's up in the attack oh. here, has a 50, but Ultras is able to just block him off there, so score remains at 1-0 at the moment here, in advantage of the uh, Sutherland Shire squad here in the carrying bar. But let's see if they can add to it here as Hipster brings it into the corner, tap to Gane. We'll just leave the ball for the moment here as uh, Cheramine just pushes it to the backboard here, blocks off one of the defenders. Hipswell gets it off the backboard here. Tatagane picks it up. He sends it high. Hipster goes up. Can, he won't make the 50, however. Zoltek is already there at the ball. Yeah, and the defense coming out from Hawkers College in this second game is so much better. It's so much more solid than what we witnessed in game number one. They know that they need to tie it up. And just as I say that the cast of curse as Hipster <laughs> Whale is able to get a really nice shot, actually. Look at the angle of this um, coming through on that one. Tedagane kind of baiting the defense in, and unfortunately the defense, he didn't have a choice there. You don't commit to that, it goes in. You just have to hope that you got the angle for the clear. Yeah, Tedagane pretty much forcing that defensive error there from Zoltek, and well, yeah, uh, might need to keep uh, your mouth shut a little bit there, you, and you don't want to give him any more curses for the meantime. Yeah. And... Ultras <laughs> unable to get the ball close there. Zoltek just pops it up on high. And well, yeah, I'll tell you what, Tatagane, we said in game one, but I think we should say it again. He's just been on fire at the moment. And the scoreline remains the same. Uh, pretty much MVP signed, sealed, and delivered to him there. So, but saying that, Hipster Whale's been doing all right. Jeremy has been doing pretty well in a third man role. And so it's. I mean, it's just allowing Tatagane really to perform. He's had a lot of pressure taken off him. I mean, he does have to deal with a fair few defensive blocks and maybe that extra bit of pressure that comes along with it, but it's just allowed him to play his style of Rocket League and that style of Rocket League, I mean, it does look well on the post, a little bit too much for my liking, but he gets a result. So, hey, if it works, it works. Exactly. Well, and, you know, it's not broken, so why would you fix it? As he goes up high with the ball there, tries to bounce it through, but. A little bit too slow on that one there. I don't think he got the connection on the downwards he was looking for, but his team isn't going to let the offense up just yet. We're seeing Tadagane get given the ball over, but a three-man defensive cluster in the corner here. It could be good as Ultras once again. This man is doing a phenomenal job on the defense, not letting him much through if he can avoid it. Hipster goes high with the ball. Tadagane oh. has the follow-up as well. What a shot. Yep, just played for time there, Tatagane. Oh, and look at that on the carrot touch as well from Hipstrail. Very good stuff to set up his teammate. And well, Fruity, well, it was just hard for him to pick where Tatagane was going to send it. He had all that time. 
the uh, attacker Thor carrying bar, and he used it well. 3-0 lead now, and you would have to say the series probably out of reach of the uh, Hawker Co College guys here. I mean, Fruity nearly gets it in, but Hipster does well to save that one, and yeah, as I was going to say, I think uh, the series might be ending in a 2-0 to carrying bar at this stage. I like how every time you say that, the goal, the ball goes near the goal of carrying bar. Just in near. case he's like, hey, he might but be cursed. But unlike you, you guys, it's not cursed. It's not going in. <laughs> I've had a bit of a tendency of curses lately, so maybe I should be careful who I'm supporting here. Result just <laughs> set up for his teammate there. We do see an attempt of a clear, but it's just not working out. And with a minute remaining, Chris, it is looking harder and harder for this recovery to take place as Zoltex. I mean, he's trying to do something here. If he can make this work, it might be the first big sign of life. But Hipster, once again, being an impregnable wall on the defense. Yeah, doing a lot of good work. And as I said, it's just giving that pressure away as uh, Ultras will get a consolation there. But it might not be much else, unfortunately. That was a pretty good play for him, though. Ball comes through on the half volley. Uh, Jeremy, I mean, he did have a game crash, so he might be having a few technical issues on his end. But... The turn was a little bit late for him there, and that pretty much opened up that near side of the goal. So, Hawkeyes get one back. They have 40 more seconds to find two more to get the equalizer free to pull off an upset. But, yeah, it does seem like it is going to be a very hard road. Even Fruity, who has been playing quite well for Hawkers, that's something we haven't really mentioned so far. Mm. Even if he starts to lift, it just feels like that defense is going to be pretty hard to break down two more times. Yeah, unfortunately. So 20 seconds left. It's looking harder and harder. More like a Herculean task. And unfortunately, we are mere mortals. We are no Herculean uh, demigods. And it looks good. They Fair might enough. get one more on the back of Ultras here. They will. Okay, there are seven seconds. I'm not going to say one way or the other because I'm going to curse it, Chris. There is every possibility. But as I said before, it is a Herculean task to get to that overtime situation. Yeah, it would be huge if they can even just force OT here, but can they do it? Well, we'll find out right now as possibly the final kickoff of the series gets on the way here. Hipster just brings the ball slightly over to the attacking side, but Ultras has to leave it. Fruity, but Fruity! Oh, that's unfortunate with their Sees the ball, hit the ground, and that'll be carrying pass, surviving the comeback to take out the series 2 to nothing. Yeah, Carrying Bar did a good job. Game number one was a phenomenal uh, moving forwards there. And game number two, Hawkers, they put up one hell of a fight, Chris. You cannot say one way or the other. Yes, the game number one didn't look too good for them, but game number two was something that was great to witness there. But unfortunately, against Carrying Bar, it's just not going to be enough. A team with so much experience at meta in Rocket League, it's unfortunately, you put up a good fight, and uh, maybe next time you'll be able to take them down. Yeah, probably won't be surprising to see them make regional playoffs again. I even think they made a grand finals in 2019, if my recollection serves me well. So they'll mm. be looking to try and uh, rebuild on that here. As uh, Just before we go, obviously we have to decide our MVP, and uh, I think there's a uh, motivate here. It <laughs> has to be Tatagane, who absolutely dominated the series with, what, six goals about... Seven or eight shots, just mm. really, really dominant stuff for him there. But anyways, we'll go to a break now. It's going to be a bit of a longer one here, 40 minutes until 7 o'clock, where we'll bring you our WA game of the night. It will be Willerton to take on Colby. It looks like, yeah, Colby's first team here. So come back in 40 minutes' time for our final game of the night. <laughs> 